Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the HTTP message format. So, in HTTP message format, there is two type. First type is request HTTP message, and second is response HTTP message. The first one is HTTP request message. In HTTP request message, it is a readable by the any human being. So, it is in format of the ASCII format. So, every human being can read it that message HTTP request message consists three part first one is request line second header line and third is carries return see this is a message HTTP request message in that the first is request line part in that the get post head commands method see over here Second one part is the header line. So this part of message consider as a header line part. In this message, the carriage return character and line pin character with fill with end of the each line. See. And at the end of the whole message, Carriage return line feed at start of the line indicate end of the header file lines. Means when completing all messaging, it filled with carriage return character and line feed character. So we can consider that the message body is completed over here. Now, in request message, the further the request line has total three field. First field is method field second is url field and third one is http version field let's see in detail the method field means the get post head put delete these are the basics command which is have different value this is method field command see over here get command now, in previous figure, the browser is requesting the object, means the client request a particular object in URL. For example, here the URL is some directory and the page is page.html. In that, the objects consist. The requesting by client this URL and this URL is URL field and third field is HTTP version field so HTTP version means it can be persistent or it can be non persistent over here this example HTTP version 1.1 means it is persistent connection so it is self explanatory now the next is the host header line it means that when client a request to the server the server url is specified over here in that the object stored now in http response message second type of http message the http response message consists three part first part is status line second is header line and last one is data or we can say message See, in this response message, the first one is status line over here. Similar over here, the carriage return and line feed character over here slash r and slash n in end of the each message line. And end of the whole message header line body. Then third part which is data part so data part is means actual html file part which is response by server to the client in http response message format the first line is a status line so first part of the status line is protocol version means http 1.1 so the Status line indicate that 
the server using HTTP 1.1 version. We can say it use persistent connection. Second one is status code 200 and third is corresponding status message means OK. Means server connection is OK. Everything is OK. See. Next is date field. So header line the date field indicate the time and date when HTTP response created and sent by the server. It is not when object created but it is a response when response created from server to the client. Next one is server. The server header line indicate that the message was generated by on which server. Here the server name is Apache web server. See the name of the server and version of the server. Over here the operating system name. The operating system is sent OS. Next one is last modified. So in this field header line indicate that the time and date when object was created or last modified. So over here the object is created earlier as it send see 26 September 2010 it is sending response time but over here the object created time means 30 October 2007 next one is content length so over here the content length means the actual size of the object which will be sent it is indicate the number of bytes in the object being sent from server to the client over here this is the required tag accept range in terms of the byte keep li means the server is allied and timeout is 10 second maximum 100 second now collect connection is alive so server is on next one is content type means the content type is the header line indicate that the object in the entire body is format of the HTML tags. C and character state is ISO standard. After completion of this message, the carriage return and line fin character slash R and slash N filled with end of the all body message. Then after the actual data or we can say the message HTML file. Now in detail about the HTTP response status code means this status code. A status code appeared in first line in server to client response message. Some sample code like as per our example 200 OK means request is successful and requested object later in this message it is completely ok second one is 301 moved permanently means the requested object is now moved from one location to other so new location specified later in this message or we can say the url redirect to the new location on server 400 bad request it means that the requested message in not a proper format means that the server cannot understand the requested message URL so it reply 400 bad request message next one is 404 not found so means the requested document or requested object not found on a server so server has no object which is requested by the client. Next one is 505 HTTP version which is not supported by server. So requested from the client on HTTP version and that version which is not supported by the server at that time server reply 505 status line HTTP version not supported message. So these are the different status code. In GTU exams, the 
एच टी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट एंड एच टी टी पी रिस्पोन्स मैसेज आस्क इन पेपर इन पेपर द मैसेज इज गिवन एंड आस्क द क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट इज द वर्जन स्टेटस सैम्पल कोड एंड इन अदर पेरामीटर्स डिटेल्स मीन्स अदर पार्ट ऑफ द डेट रिस्पोन्स एंड रिक्वेस्ट मैसेज फॉर्मेट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कुकी Thank you